Liz Truss to Europe. Let's stand firm against Vladimir Putin. The British Prime Minister's attendance at the Prague summit is seen as a shift in Britain's commitment to Europe. UK Prime Minister Liz Truss will urge European leaders to stand firm in the fight against Russian aggression when she addresses them Thursday. Truss, who is fighting a political firestorm back home after a botched budget and fractious party conference, will tell the inaugural meeting of the European political community in Prague that the continent is facing its biggest crisis since the Second World War, according to extracts released by the UK government. And she will praise the unity and resolve shown since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We must continue to stand firm to ensure that Ukraine wins this war, but also to deal with the strategic challenges that it has exposed, she will add. Addressing the opening of the EPC summit, the brainchild of French President Emmanuel Macron, Truss will argue that the threat posed by Putin was left to fester for far too long and urge vigilance on long-standing regional issues like energy and migration. Instead of the old approach which merely dealt with the symptoms, it's time to address the fundamental causes, she is expected to say. Truss' attendance at the EPC meeting not only provided her with a temporary respite from her domestic woes, but also after months of battling post-Swiss tough trade rules and Northern Europe's Brexit. Already seen as a change in the way the country engages with Europe. The UK government was initially cautious about the new grouping, but embraced the idea when it became clear that the European Commission would not play a central role. Participating countries agreed that he would meet alternately every six months in countries inside and outside the EU. Liz Truss promises, growth, growth and growth, in protest hit speech. Liz Truss has promised Britain she has, got your back, and set out a plan for, growth, growth and growth, in a conference speech disrupted by protesters asking who voted for her plan. After a fractious party conference and dire opinion polls for the Tories, the Prime Minister attempted to speak directly to the public, saying, I want what you want. She made the case for cutting taxes as the right thing to do morally and economically, despite having just you turned over her decision to abolish the 45p top rate of income tax. On the decision to withdraw the policy, she said, I get it and I have listened. However, a few minutes in, her speech was disrupted by protesters waving a Greenpeace banner, which said, Who voted for this? As they were escorted from the hall to booze from the audience, Truss said, Let's get them removed, and joked, Later on in my speech I'm going to talk about the anti-growth coalition. I think they arrived in the hall a bit too early. Truss made her dash for economic growth the centerpiece of her speech in Birmingham, saying not everyone would like her disruptive plan to change Britain but claiming that the UK would benefit from the results. The scale of the challenge is immense. War in Europe for the first time in a generation. A safer post-corona world. And a global economic crisis, she said. That's why we need to do something different in the UK. Whenever there is change, there is confusion. Not everyone agrees. A crisis, she said. That's why we need to do something different in the UK. Whenever there is change, there is confusion. Not everyone agrees.